Hello and good afternoon. I welcome you to today's Trading Spotlight Hot Topic webinar here together with Admirals. It's Wednesday, it's the 30th of June, 2021. And um, yeah, I welcome you to a very fascinating topic, in fact. So um, today we want to talk about um, not just a hot topic right now, but I probably say probably a hot topic also within the next decade, probably, not really sure. Um, we want to talk about renewable energy. And uh, here in this context, then um, ask uh, the question, where should we invest our money or at least part of it? Where to diversify, how to diversify? Um, and by the way, let me just, I also opened here the YouTube page and I just want to welcome here, all the traders um, watching this on YouTube. So you have several chances now to ask questions and please feel free to ask them. First of all, use the chat box on YouTube. If you, by the way, um, new to Admirals um, and haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, set a uh, reminder so that you don't miss any of the videos in the future. Next one here after that will be on Friday together uh, with Paul, Admirals and Paul, and he will talk about day trading a little. You can register, by the way, if you watch this on YouTube, then on the website from Admirals. Um, what did I miss? Um, if you like what you're seeing, then please leave a thumb here, a thumb up here. Um, if you watch this now via Zoom and you're already registered on the web page, also please feel free to ask your questions in the Zoom webinar. Um, all the questions which might arise. And um, what else? Did I miss something? I don't think so. So um, yeah, um, I think this this is it around it. Um, let me just share my screen here. Uh, I think. Is probably um, then the best starting point. So why you should start to think about investing in renewable energy. This is today's hot topic um, and the question we wanna we wanna answer. In fact, um, before we start and before I go through the agenda of today um, and uh, several different um, 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 aspects we wanna cover here. So it's not everything renewable energy. It's not everything green energy. But there are obviously several sectors uh, you might be interested in. Um, we first of all wanna have a look here at the. Um, rebranding currently taking place at Admirals. So you probably uh, know Admirals as Admiral Markets. And um, Admirals um, is Admiral Markets started out as a FX and CFD broker um, 20 years ago, in fact. And this um, one of the most well-known and most recognized and well-established broker in the um, FX and CFD um, universe here in Germany, for example. Um, so I'm located in Berlin in Germany. We refer to Admirals as the DEX expert with the probably most competitive offering when it comes to um, a CFD FX offering. And um, over the years, uh, they turned into a really true multi-asset broker. So you can also, via the MT5 Invest solution, for example, you can invest in physical stocks, um, longer term positions here in this context, build a portfolio um, of, of, of stocks, hedge them then if uh, turns uh, things turn red, let's say, um, around the corona pandemic, let's use this, around one year ago, volatility spiked higher, you have the chance then to hedge your portfolio, your physical stock portfolio, dividend um, um, strategies you probably have, or your renewable energies, um, and you wonder, hey, how, how can I hedge here, my exposure probably at here, um, if we now see a sharper decline, you can use CFDs there, and really play around with different asset classes, in addition to that, um, also, there's now um, some, yes, yeah, some, some rebranding taking place into the direction that more and more financial services are being offered, which means in case of Admirals that they are right now offering, for example, a credit card you can then uh, use. So you make money trading the markets. Hopefully uh, you can transfer the money to the, um, 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 to, the, to the credit card and then use it and go shopping <laughs> wherever you want and use the credit card. So that's the first step. There's also some um, plans in the direction of the crypto world, um, probably Bitcoin wallets and all this. Um, this is something uh, which could come in the future, depending on the developments in the crypto space. And um, so it's definitely worth giving up Admirals.com, a deeper look and deeper consideration to choose Admirals as your primary broker in this context, then due to the um, great offering they give you. Um, also here, YouTube, we mentioned it already, we have now um, um, a presence here on Instagram, 
which means that you can also follow us on Instagram, in this case at Admirals Global, at Admirals Global. And so that's it around the introduction. Now let's have a look here at today's agenda and what I want to cover, um, which is very interesting. Um, I think probably probably it's better uh, to to not really uh, call it GI, um, but more kind of uh, renewable energy. I'm not really sure why I mentioned here uh, GI. Probably, probably this is due to to a spelling error. <laughs> Whatever reason, it could be could be um, one earlier webinar we did together on AI probably, and then I well difficult to spot why why I, well whatever <laughs> so. RE uh, short for renewable energy. Um, so why, this is the question we wanna answer, why RE renewable energy should be part of your portfolio. And um, then you can already see there are several sectors in this context. So um, renewable energy obviously is not just looking at the stock of Tesla, for example, in their electric vehicle space, which we, by the way, summed up here in the last bullet point when it comes to green transportation. Uh, but it's also about water, for example. So um, I was once asked, and that was also something um, I really um, thought about in, in depth, in fact, um, already one year ago. So that was in April, May 2020. So more than a year ago, but I really well remember that one Saturday, um, I sat down uh, and um, told my wife, I, I, I have to think a little about the future. So she's like, what? No, um, I said, no, the future, the world after Corona, what will what will drive um, uh, the what will drive the economy? Where, where's, where will we had it here? So what, what's the future looks like? So I think it makes very it makes lots of sense here in this context um, to ask that question um, and, and really wonder, okay, what do you think, how will the future look like? And what areas will be of interest in this context? Um, where should the focus um, um, be from your side when it comes to educational questions, especially around your kids, for example, but also around um, the, the um, portfolio, your portfolio and your, um, in this context, um, portfolio, which you hope to diversify into a direction so that you have a nice source of income you can live out from um, during your retirement or after you retired from work. and. Um, so during that time, I, I sat down, really, in fact, and then um, I, I had a nice cigar, lit a cigar, um, had a, um, uh, a rum, whiskey, I'm not really sure, but I think most likely it was a rum, um, um, and, and really enjoyed the sun. And then I, I took a, a small sheet of paper, white sheet of paper, was empty, and then I wrote down. How do I think the world will look like? What will be of um, interest in the future? In this context, certainly, um, renewable energy, green energy was a was a, um, a big topic. Um, certainly, due to all the developments we've seen already before Corona. Um, remember Fridays for Future, for example. Um, and what's certainly of interest in this context is that the first area where um, investments seem to make sense due to the nature of human beings was water. So I think water is probably, um, uh, the, at, at least at some part, um, at least among the guys I talk to or I, 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 I um, um, interact with, um, is uh, underestimated. So um, people can't really think that um, water is, um, um, is not there or is, is a resource you don't have access to. I mean, here we in Germany, for example, for us, it's like you you put on the water and then you take water out of out of um, 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 I don't even know the English word for this. So it's like it's it's something which is completely normal, but um, it's a, in fact a, a resource we should um, really think in depth about, and where I think at at least um, in the future many many human beings um, will make lots of money from. Um, so it's not just that we need to think about this and companies who will uh, look for ways to explore this area, but also that it has a natural tendency to be a uh, scarce and thus um, have a natural tendency due to the strong demand, which is clearly given due to our human nature. Um, then that, that, that um, um, everything which has something to do with water, water prices, in this case, um, to put it more generally, will naturally rise. And um, so that brings water in this context here um, in our 
focus, but also wind power, certainly. That has been a big topic already 20 years ago. Um, solar energy, the same is true here in Germany. I re really remember 20 years ago when I worked with a bank that, uh, the, that there were companies who made um, tons of money in this, in this area. Um, pollution control and green transportation, especially all around um, everything we can right now see in Tesla and here, especially the growth sector. And um, so let's start. Let's start here with, um, I'm sorry, no, I see what I mean with GI. So GI was correct. It wasn't RE, it was GI. It's green investments. Oh, okay, That's, uh, that makes sense. So I'm sorry, I, I, um, I forgot this. So uh, when I put together these slides, it was two months ago. So now you can see it's RE or it's a GI in this context. So green investments, why should they be part of your portfolio? So um, as I already pointed out, um, already before the corona pandemic hit, there was a clear switch to green energy here driven by the Fridays for Future movement. And I think everyone has seen that. Everyone, or at least the minimum 90% of the people right now listening to this webinar um, have at least heard about um, a little girl named Greta from Sweden. So, um, and she's directly connected to the Fridays for Future movement. Um, and so the thing is uh, that these are very interesting sectors, not just from an investment perspective, but also when it comes to um, a trading opportunity. So today we want to focus here on the investment, the longer term um, aspects. But um, um, as, as we have probably seen in the past, we have plenty of, of webinars also on, on, on trading related um, um, assets here and especially the growth sector. Um, Neo, XPath, both fantastic trading stocks. The same is true for, for Tesla. Um, also hydrogen businesses. So here in this context, Plug, for example, or Ballot Power also. Um, both have seen an enormous rise over the last 12 months when it comes to their market capitalization, but also have seen massive volatility, which you could trade from the long, but also from the short side, even though from the long side, you had plenty of more um, 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 room, let's say, on the upside sometimes. And, and, and there were more opportunities than in fact. And uh, it's not just uh, that these runs have seen these massive rises due to the cheap liquidity from central banks, but also um, due to some clear formulated and um, 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 communicated changes in uh, from a political perspective when it comes, for example, to tax relief. So um, in the US, for example, uh, you, you probably um, remember the um, sharp rise. We made a topic in several webinars in the past in Tesla, for example, this nearly vertical move higher um, into the fourth quarter of 2020. One, one main driver was probably that Tesla was included into the S&P 500 in December then. But the thing is that already before um, there were clear signs of this massive rise higher, some argue in anticipation um, here of this inclusion in the S&P 500 and thus fund managers, portfolio managers and so on and so forth needed to, to add um, a Tesla stock to their portfolio if they want to um, uh, duplicate the um, spider portfolio, for example. So all um, 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 shares which are included in the S&P 500. So, but the thing is that also um, here, the um, election and um, um, Joe Biden now being the 46th president of the United States also um, went hand in hand with expectations around uh, tax reliefs for companies who are active in the renewable energy space. Um, for example, when it comes to Tesla, some of us already know that um, some of their money um, they, they made over the last um, um, yeah, not just 12 months, but also over the, the, the past years, in fact, mostly resulted out of Tesla selling um, um, certificates. So um, on a CO, um, 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 what's the English word for this? CO2? Is it CO2? I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, um, so they, they, they sold these, these certificates, for example, to car builders like Volkswagen, for example, um, and made 
plenty of money with this. Um, and uh, that being said, already um, shows that there is some support from governance, gov governments here around the globe here to, to support these companies who invest in this, in this area. Um, and this is definitely something to take into account. The same is also true here when it comes to NEO, for example, or, or XPATH, especially NEO. Some of you remember, um, so we, we mainly look here at the green transportation sector, but you can easily duplicate this um, on other areas. We will look at your water stocks and, 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 and a pollution um, control or, or um, um, yeah, for example, solar energy and so on and so forth. Um, Neo, for example, uh, was um, a company which went nearly bankrupt around two or three years ago and was, in fact, saved by the Chinese government and is now a company which um, the Chinese government looks to build as a direct competitor here to Tesla, for example. So that being said, already shows you that the support from the government here is a it plays a crucial role when it comes to a longer term investment in this context. So, which means if, if you, if you look for great investment opportunities, um, in this case, in the green investment, re, uh, renewable energy space, well, certainly you will look for companies who already see, um, massive support um, and positive, um, um, media reports and also on and so forth here, um, um, in this space. So in Germany, for example, it's no big surprise, by the way, to put it in the perspective here, what I mean by positive media comments and that stuff um tesla for example uh, is um, um attacked by by the german media at least at some sometimes they are attacked and there's some very um one-sided um, um 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 documentations on on german television for example um why well because tesla is a direct competitor to um the biggest um or one of the biggest um 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 employers in the european union in germany in general volkswagen the same is true for daimler, daimler in this case for example or B BMW. So certainly, um, you wanna you wanna protect your companies and make uh, the direct competitor um, look bad or something like that. But um, still, um, you can you can see, for example, in this context, Tesla has already um, a massive impact globally due to the um, 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 resources being put in or being spent on um, marketing campaigns and and being recognized as the number one in the for in this context electric vehicle space, which means nothing more than if. If you now um, see a competitor entering the market, it's no surprise that um, the CEO of Tesla in this context, Elon Musk, says something like, I really appreciate more competition. Um, and why does he do so? Well, because he know how he, he knows how, how difficult it is to build um, a great car in this context and, and to 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 Pre prepare respectively present the uh, consumer the client here with a solution which the client is very um, um, satisfied by which means nothing more than you buy let's say a Volkswagen and then your Volkswagen put it simply bluntly sucks well what will you do you will say okay I sell the Volkswagen I will never ever buy another Volkswagen electric vehicle in this space but then I'll go for the um, uh, for the industry leader who's the industry leader hmm, obviously Tesla and then you go for Tesla in this case um so so that being said, the combination here of um, um, this momentum we can see here already and the developments um, um, based on common sense, in addition to the overall support, these companies or special companies here in this context, which are mentioned heavily in the media um, by the governments, um, is something you should take into account here from an investment perspective. And when it comes to put your money into these, into these areas here. And um, so brings us to the question, where should we invest here our money longer term so um some indications which are more broader let's say and not purely technical and based on classic fundamental macro um um, um economic not macroeconomic but fundamental um 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 uh, parameters like um, earnings per share or something like that, growth um, expectation and all that. Um, but also from a common sense perspective, given your overall expectation for the world in the future, the next 20 years, let's say. I think this is very important because it um, gives you confidence in your investment and something you shouldn't underestimate. And now let's come back. Um, so we shouldn't put all our money 
in one basket or in one investment, but diversify as usual. And so what we want to do now is um, the top five green investment ideas, at least at my end. So first of all, we want to start with the water stocks. And um, so I already said um, um, how water came uh, into my mind straight away when I thought about the future of the world, renewable energies and thinking about water straight away. Um, so water is probably one of the most important natural resources we have. And in this context now, the European Environment Agency, for example, notes that five countries, the Netherlands, Hungary, Moldova, Romania, and Luxembourg, rely on rivers that flow in from other countries to provide more than 75% of their water, while in the US cities like Los Angeles, for example, are concerned about water scarcity as climate change take a toll on water resources. So that being said, brings us directly um, um, to, to the answer of the question, why is an investment in water stocks of interest? Well, obviously there will be some guys who will say, well, you want the water I have, and then you have to pay a high price for this. Is this moral? Well, this is this question everyone has to answer for himself or herself in this context. But all in all, it shows why investments in water um, play a crucial role or should play a crucial role in our overall um, um, investment decisions in this context and when it comes to investments in the renewable energy space. So um, that being said here, um, Water investments might include companies that collect, purify, and distribute water. Um, should could be companies like Severn Trend. I haven't, by the way, I haven't now um, put together the fundamentals behind this. But this is a list um, um, you can screenshot or write down these names and then do research yourself and find out which suit your personality best and where you think that it makes probably sense to give it a deeper look or think about a longer term perspective. Also, given the overall technical picture, how it looks like, some of them are sometimes look very extended on the upside in this context um, um, due to the, 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 the growth they have seen. On the other hand, coming back to Tesla, a stock probably many of us have on the agenda, has seen um, 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 a strong breakout on the upside um, several days ago out of a, of a um, um, lower lower um, a trend line or a falling wedge in this country or falling triangle in this context, um, which is bringing the region around 700 USD back into our focus. So um, that being said, brings us here also to to such a um, um, a picture we should we could we should draw out of um, um, the current picture how it presents itself also given the extensions sometimes on the upside we should take into account other factors which directly influence um, growth titles so I'm referring here to to um, Tesla especially in the electric vehicle space but this is also true for companies like Pluck for example um, um, or which is also true for for solar energy companies we will see in the in the um, um, uh, the upcoming slides, first to law, for example, FSLR. Um, so the thing is that um, given the infl inflation expectations and potential spikes higher um, in yields, something to consider in this context is that such spikes higher and given the dependency here um, from growth titles on low stocks and cheap liquidity is something to be concerned of and which could result in a sharper um, and push lower, at least um, in, the, in, the, in the near term, in fact. Um, th that was already something I, I, I mentioned last time, so I have no problem to give away um, the pr presentations, but I don't like to give them away, um, uh, in fact, because I think that um, giving it away counters a little the overall um, um, learn effect, let's put it that way. I, I Personally, I think it makes more sense for you to, to write this down now and do the research because it's, um, it's a more intense um, experience and it gives you a deeper feeling for this. So I, the thing is, I, I'm talking here in this context based on my personal ex, um, 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 experience. So if I get a presentation from someone, it sometimes feels really difficult here uh, to, to go through this again, or I just don't mind because I say something like, well, I have the presentation. I can look at it whenever I want. The only problem is I never look at it again. And so this is one of the reasons based on my personal experience, why I um, don't want to um, 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 help people to make the same mistakes to put it that way. Um, let's come back to the water stocks. So Severn Trend, SVT, um, Veolia Environment, VEE, -E. <laughs> IE, I'm sorry, California Water Service Group, CWT. And then we have also here um, an ETF, 
based on a, C, um, um, on a CFD. Also, why, why I mentioned here the, the CFD, so Invesco Water Resources ETF. Um, it's FOOS in this case. And why, why do I mention this? Well, because there's also the question from your end, for example, how to hedge your exposure, at least partially. Um, so just imagine you, you now decide to say, hey, Severn Trend and California Water Service Co um, Group here, that makes sense to have it in the portfolio. And then you see... Um, some nice developments, let's say, and then volatility kicks in and growth title and also water stocks here see a push lower um, in, their, in their price. And you wonder, how can I hedge my exposure here? In this context, um, even if it's not 100% hedge, it could make at least sense to take here such an ETF into account um, um, based on the CVD then, which I can easily short and thus hedge at least part of my um, 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 portfolio here in the, in the um, um, water space space. So um, now we come to the next slide, wine power stocks. And while I will go through this in a few seconds, I want to, I have to, in fact, just here, click through a list beside that. Just, just have a look here um, at how my stocks I have um, on the agenda today performs. Let me just, one, one thing, this is part of my preparation. Um, and uh, I have one stock today on the, on the radar. It's um, on space, Virgin Galactic. It's also growth stock. I'm um, also in a very interesting an environment. We, we talk about, um, uh, um, let's say, uh, space tourism. I think we can easily um, 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 sum this up. Too. And the stock has seen a massive run higher last week on Friday um, and is now coming in, pulling in here um, and is currently under pressure. The thing is that the region around 42, 41, 42, this, this region could be of interest. If we see buyers stepping in here, it could result in a next um, 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 well, like higher. So the, the current pull in, which we get to see, is mainly due to a technical reaction since the market went nearly vertical up to 60. After last week, the FAA. Um, approved their um, um, license here for further um, um, tests and all that stuff after they had some very promising tests in, in, in May already. So very hot stock, in fact, right now. Um, and something I'd, I'd want to keep an eye on. Um, and since the stock is moving quite aggressively, already we've now seen over 2 million shares being traded in the pre-market. Usually we have an average trading volume of 17.4. Um, uh, I have here in this context... Um, I have um, um, uh, um, the stock now on my on my radar. It's, it's it's already hot, in fact. So, but let's come back to the presentation. So, I have everything I need now. Um, so, let's have a look here at let's have a look here at solar stocks in this case, and uh, something which also um, was part of my. Um, early days in the in the bank. So um, I had a client, well, it wasn't my client, it was a client of the bank, but I, I um, heard about him. He was the um, um, founder of a company. I think they are not in the business anymore. Or they were bought um, and he was um, a multimillionaire. So um, over and over due to his um, 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 stock he got as an employee or respectively as the founder of the company, manager of the company. And um, he was, oh, I'm sorry, it's wine power stocks. The next slide, it's um, on solar in this context. But um, so this is also something which is which is very, very interesting then and, and gives you kind of a connection here, let's say, in this um, um, context, how to um, 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 build a relationship, let's say, to this very, very hot sector. So around renewable energies, wine power stocks. So first of all, um, wine is one of the fastest growing sources of renewable energy, having increased 75-fold 75, uh, 75 over the past 20 years. I'm um, also a personal story in this context. I never invested, in fact, actively or traded. Invested is the wrong word. I traded actively wine power stocks, even though I know uh, I knew um, um, an insider in this industry. So um, here, these um, um, wine parks, uh, you can see them being built in the especially northern part of Germany. And I um, um, worked out with a guy, um, and, and who was a good friend of mine, in fact, um, he, who worked in this space, and he had all the inside information you could imagine. Um, I, I thought it would be immoral. So um, especially after um, I'm watching the film Wall Street um, with Michael Douglas and Bud Fox, um, or Michael Douglas and, and Charlie Sheen. So Gordon Gecko and Bud Fox several times and uh, seeing that um, uh, insider trading is immoral. But still, it was very funny because I still had the uh, shares here, wine power stocks on my, on my radar. And they sometimes went vertical. That was around 15 
years ago or something. Um, many of them uh, went bust after that um, because it's a, it's a very, very competitive business also. And you can see why, because um, more and more um, 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 capital is obviously flowing into this space when looking at these um, massive growth rates you can see here. And um, so in this context, sorry. So uh, China leads the world, in fact, based on its installed capacities here, followed then by the US and Germany. So no coincidence that I mentioned this, this little anecdote. Um, and in regards uh, to investments here, we should look for wine farms or selling uh, wine generated energy or companies here, which are manufacturing wine turbines. The interesting thing now is something I didn't know, in fact, that was General Electric is a quite big player in this space. So even though um, some of you probably um, 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 sometimes wonder, do I know these companies? I think um, um, in case of General Electric, it's a blue chip company. So you can, you can already, you, you have a good feeling looking at this company from this perspective. It's not their main field they are in, but something to probably um, um, realize that they have already um, have their, their business um, um, here seated in this, in this area too. And then there's also um, here, you can see this is uh, quite exotic, let's say. It's from Denmark, um, Vestas Wine Systems. It's uh, VWS. And then we have PNE Wine AG. Uh, this is a German company, in fact, um, and three companies to probably take into account, especially the latter ones here. General Electric is more broader, probably should be part of every um, portfolio, um, especially a well-diversified portfolio. And um, so that brings us now to solar energy stocks. So that's, I, I um, switched the story. So um, solar energy has been, is, is still a very hot topic and has been already a very, very um, hot topic several years ago, around 20 years ago. And uh, this manager, I remember him, um, yeah, talking, talking here to him, respectively listening. I was, a, I was a trainee back then, so I don't talk to, I uh, didn't, didn't talk actively to such big clients, but it was more like that my, my um, uh, a mentor here was talking to him then in this context. But um, it was a very fascinating st uh, story because um, you also didn't really recognize him to be such an influential person in this context. Um, and uh, he didn't went into debt here, but it's definitely something you can um, then connect to somehow and build a relationship easier to then when it comes to your investments and, and, and believing in that in this case in your in your investment and having or formulating a long term vision in this context. So energy from sun power homes buildings and a variety of other items from lights to radios this is what um, solar energy stocks consists of mainly um, consist of and our focus here is in fact on uh, companies that make solar panels and trying to benefit homeowners and also businesses adopting adopting um, solar power in this context and um, in regards to investment in here we we should focus on a companies like for example fslr so first solar um this is also not interesting not only interesting from a um from an investment perspective longer term investment perspective but it's also um um uh sorry trading stock <laughs> that's what i want to say i'm a trading stock so i also actively traded um I'm first uh, solar over the last six to nine months in fact um if it appeared on my on my screen um which was especially the time at the beginning of um, November, once uh, it was clear that uh, Joe Biden would be the next US president, given his um, renewable energy focus and his support here for this area, respectively the, the support from his administration for this area, that made also here First Solar then very attractive, not just from an investment perspective, but also from a trading perspective, because volume spiked higher here in this context, and thus, um, um, the stock presented itself quite volatile for, for quite a period of time. The same is also true here for Jinko Solar holding a JKS, um, also a tradable, um, a very actively traded stock for some time um, into the fourth quarter of, of 2020. Um, it's a company from China. Also something to, to keep in mind when it comes to solar energy stocks. Then we have SunPower, SPWR. And also here I um, included... Uh, um, an ETF, which makes it possible to hatch some of your solar exposure. If you 
plan to 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 um, diversify diversify your portfolio into that direction here with um, a CFD. So trade this sector also short in a very easy way, um, which is um, interesting by the way. All the stocks and all the ETFs I've listed here are all part of the um, um, portfolio from um, Admirals. So multi true asset broker, as I mentioned at the beginning of this webinar. So you can find all these stocks tradable at Admirals. So if, if you're interested, Admirals.com. There you have the overall offering CFDFX. And if you then also look at the, um, not just platform, but also product sector, you will see that there's shares and there shares, you have um, not just the CFDs under stocks, um, um, CFDs um, um, on, on stocks you can trade, but also you have here um, 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 the physical shares respectively, also the ETFs in this context. So um, yeah, something to 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 remember here when you wonder which broker offers these uh, the shares or uh, ETFs. Well, Admirals, um, and then we come to the next slide here in this context: pollution control. Um, also, a very actively traded topic right now. Um, the main topic here is in fact reduction. So, how can we reduce um, the pollution of air, especially or let's put it more generally, the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions on industrial power um, or minimizing emissions coming out of the tailpipe of your car. Um, um, and these topics are on the rise. You can also see it. You can feel it, really. If you, if you switch on the television and if you have the news Every day, it's at least once that they talk about some kind of um, green revolution or any developments in this space or someone being criticized for not being as green as he should be. Um, and um, if I had to bet, I'd say um, I'd bet really any amount that this will be the next hot topic after the corona pandemic. So everything around renewable energy and in this context, then especially pollution control and, and making this a topic is definitely something um, which will which will um, um, which we will be confronted with in the next years. Um, so and companies in this space, especially in pollution around pollution control here, um, they uh, respond every time. In fact, legislation mandates an uh, improvement here in the amount of some harmful chemicals that can be released into the environment. And um, in this context, also companies and ETFs to focus on here, once you plan to, to diversify your portfolio into this direction, is Clean Energy Fuels Corporation, CLNE. This is, by the way, um, a company uh, you probably have also heard about in the trading space, why? CLNE is one of these, let's call them swaggy stocks, uh, which are heavily and actively um, um, discussed, in fact, on uh, Wall Street bets. Let me just see if I, um, if I have, let's do it that way. Yes, I, probably I can show it to you. Um, let me just, just type in swaggy stocks. It's, a, it's in fact a URL, and there you can see here is Wall Street's bets, and then you have to tick a sentiment. Um, I, I will share uh, the link here in the chat box. Swaggy stocks. And I've also included them now here on YouTube. I'm not sure if I can share the link, but probably um, 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 Anna, if, if I'm not allowed to share the, the link here on YouTube, probably you can post it then. Um, but let's come back here to, to the, the, the number. So what you have here is this ticker sentiment. So what they do is, in fact, they analyze the forum here um, um, on Wall Street Bats on Reddit. And um, as, you can, as you can see here, they now have keywords people use when it comes to certain ticker symbols like Clove here, for example, or also C L N E, as you can see here. Um, these are the top ten or uh, top twenty, but um, as you can see here, C L N E is uh, among the most discussed um, um, titles. And then they they um, um, they they um, track here how many positive comments or specifically how many negative comments on the stock are or the ticker symbol are uh, are being made. And based on that, they then try to to figure out whether uh, the stock has probably some squeeze potential on the upside. So this is also something to, to take into account. This is what I have to think about when I when I see Clean Energy Fuels Corporation, but it's also not just a problem of trading and, 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 and 
some of them are probably might consider it's also gambling perspective because uh, sometimes it's um, um, kind of weird to see uh, these these vertical moves and stocks higher and market caps really exploding um mainly based due to the the short float so there's some hedge funds betting that these companies will never make it and thus there's some massive swings in fact but um also from a long-term perspective especially cle pollution control um, um is one of the reasons why you should have the, the the company here on um on your on your um, um, um radar fuel tech included um f tech and then also the iShares global clean energy use its edf drng um also very interesting from a diversification diversification perspective so probably you might say okay yeah that sounds great pollution control that makes sense but is CLNE really such a great investment or fuel tech in this case um if you don't think so well, you can diversify your portfolio with buying such a global energy, global clean energy usage ETF in this case. So highly regulated and have the ETF and investments in several um, 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 companies who invest in this space and are active in this space, have them um, in, your, in your portfolio. And um, so, well, we enter the last slide here. And in fact, when it comes to, to these companies who are active in this space, and um, obviously, well, we're talking about green transportation, we're talking about especially electric vehicles, and we're talking about here Tesla. Um, and most mostly Tesla, but it's not the only player in this space. Um, we have also seen here other companies, um, XPath, Xpeng, you probably remember we had an earlier webinar on um, um, electric vehicles. We had um, in this context also NEO here, um, but Tesla is just the most actively uh, traded stock, respectively, most mostly actively, uh, most active um, um, discussed stock in this space, I think. And um, well, green transportation obviously is not only about electric vehicles in fact this is something very well to to remember um, but about any company working with fuel cell technology to develop an alternative method method of powering automobiles um, which is also something which is of interest here in germany for example um, so while germany is at some points focusing on electric vehicles uh, we shouldn't un underestimate the aspect that um, also um, hydrogen, especially hydrogen, is probably a big topic, especially when it comes to investments in Europe and looking at the aspect that Germany is still the biggest economy in the Eurozone. And um, uh, why do I mention that? Well, because electric vehicles itself, the technolo technology behind this is not as complicated as uh, the technology, for example, to build the classic car engine let's say with um, um, um fuel coming out um, um of, of of oil for example so i'll put it differently when it comes to cars in germany and, and engineering around cars engineers working on cars it's about controlling the explosion in the engine and in case of here uh, um, electric vehicles this is not a big topic um at, at all in fact and then it's it's not as complicated as controlling this explosion where germany is an expert on which means at least in my personal opinion that there's no it's not such big surprise that this becomes now a topic to some extent extend but still somehow um regulators or regulators the government probably bigger um, 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 um bigger players in the market in the background no one can see probably will um make sure that the impact of tesla in the german space is not as big and is not getting as great in a quite quick period of time um uh, because they, they first want to establish an infrastructure, especially around um, hydrogen in this context, because for hydrogen, then again, the uh, German engineering um, is um, well positioned, let's say, and uh, you can make way more money in that area, respectively, it's not just about the money, but it's also about um, bringing people into an uh, um, an in, into an employment situation okay so um if, if you focus on here uh, the electric vehicle space especially many many people will lose their jobs if we focus on hydrogen especially in germany well then uh, we can probably save most of them uh, and that is by the way um a story i i also discussed with with my brother who's um active in the um um in this in this um, engineering um, um, area for example and something to, to to keep in mind especially when looking at germany um even though 
they gain now some momentum, but um, in fact, of um, or when when looking especially here at, at Germany, which is by the way also answering a question I've seen in the chat box. So um, the question was: um, Is choosing here a green investment stocks um, the location, country, or government policies does this matter? Well, it, it certainly does. Um, at least short term when you trade the stocks. Um, so for example, if I have, for example, um, a positive impact on the stock of Tesla, which is directly connected to some kind of news here in Germany, whatever that might be. So they have now um, kind of this 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 um, giga a factory here in Brandenburg. It's, it's around the corner. So it's something like an hour with a car here from, from where I'm located. Um, or if you have any kind of news here, uh, which are Chinese related, and, and Tesla is reacting positive too, you should be a little careful if this is a sustainable move or it's just a first reaction, and then it's getting the the the, the, the first impulse is getting sold off after that, um, due to the fact that um, here such a such a question around government policies and and the overall positiveness of, of this number uh, news here will result in a in a sustainable move in one or the other direction. I'd be some kind of careful um, here, but a longer term, I think, um, given the 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 overall support, especially when it comes to neo. Um, here from the Chinese government or Tesla when it comes to the um, US government, I think it plays um, not such an, uh, uh, the role is not as important as, as you might probably think it is. Um, let's come back to uh, the investments here we focus on, we should focus on. Certainly Tesla, certainly also NEO, which is interesting, by the way. I mentioned NEO here, even though I had a discussion uh, with um, I'm also um, a guy who is, who is um, actively trading the markets. And um, he said that he would focus on XPath um, due to the higher quality um, um, these cars seem to have compared to NEO. I couldn't say whether he's right or wrong, but um, probably someone will watch this video now on YouTube here. By the way, if you if you like what you're seeing, please leave a thumb up here, comment in the chat box, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, um, respectively set a reminder to not miss any of the um, um, future webinars, respectively recordings and videos we produce here. Um, if someone says now, well, I can um, understand why Neo is here in this list and not XPath, um, fair enough. So you could probably also do a slash here and then put um, XPath there. Um, ballot power systems, BLDP, um, very, very interesting when it comes to, to hydrogen. Um, and also here, fuel cell energy, also sometimes a quite actively traded stock F cell in this context, um, which makes also sense then um, sometimes these stocks get hot and, and are traded also intraday on a very interesting, um, from a very interesting perspective, because these vertical moves and sometimes these emotions, which are driving prices higher and these growth expectations are sometimes shooting these stocks into regions where you just say, well, now it makes sense, for example, to uh, for the government, eh, government, not the management of these companies to say, well, we're doing some kind of secondary now, um, trying to get more money to invest in the future then, which results sometimes in sharper declines, when you then can see uh, that sometimes these um, momentum players step in and push the price back to the um, 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 level where this secondary offering, for example, was announced, which is a clear sign that the growth story is still intact, being considered still intact, and thus um, um, making it likely that this this, this um, strong uptrend then will continue. That's something I remember when I'm reading um, um, here, f cell, for example. And um, so that brings, that brings us to the summary of today's uh, webinar, in fact. So first of all, green investments, I think that became clear now over the last minutes here, should be part of a well-diversified portfolio, not just because of their massive capital inflows, which they've seen over the last 12 months, but also due to political changes, tax reliefs, for example, pointing to serious growth potential in the years to come. And in this context, areas to give a deeper look could include, at least in my personal opinion, they should include, in fact, water stocks, wind power stocks, solar energy stocks, pollution control, and green transportation. And uh, the stocks ETFs I mentioned here um, are probably something to consider and all be they are all tradable at Atmos as a true multi-asset broker. So on Friday, that's the next webinar which will take place. I mentioned already at the beginning, Paul will be here with the trading spotlight, Evergreen, um, day trading US indices. And uh, the questions you want to answer together with you are, what US indices should we focus on? What type of opportunity do they offer to us? And also what type of setups work best when day trading here US indices? 
London 2 p.m. 2nd of July, Friday, uh, day of the NFTs, by the way. So probably we get to see elevated volatility and thus you can um, um, directly show you in real time then how to, to trade the market opening of, of US indices. Um, if you're already registered, check your inbox for the webinar link. If not, watch this now on YouTube, for example, head over to admonts.com. And there you have um, educations, the tab here in, the, in this blue box. And there you can then go to webinars and register for the webinar. Each webinar, by the way, which um, um, here is then um, um, taking place also the next week, for example. And here are the contact details for any further information questions you might have. And here's the risk disclaimer because Atmos is a fully regulated broker. Um, that's it from my end. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you watch the recording now, again, please leave a thumb up here. Um, whatever, questions, please. If you have any questions, please feel free to share them. If you have any investments ideas, please share them in the chat box. I'd, I'd really like to, to read them and, and to probably um, um, find new ideas. Um, we can also make the topic then in the upcoming webinars. And um, so that's it from my end. So now it's Wednesday. It's not um, a happy weekend, but um, enjoy the rest of the week. Happy trading. Watch your stops and talk to you then again next week, next week on Friday. And um, I really look forward to it. So all the best. See you. Bye-bye.